<laughs> Whom star we to get involved? See, bros before hoes, am I? Whom star my to refuse <laughs> a good time? No, see, no, that's also the thing. Bros before hoes. Bros before hoes. So I mean, they... clearly I was not a hoe. <laughs> hey man, if two plus two is four, <laughs> four plus four is eight. So hey, hey man. <laughs> Tell you something when the spice so sweet. Let me tell you when the spice so sweet. Let me tell you something when the spice so sweet. Let me tell you, bitch. Cash the cash the hey, 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 bitch. You're back. Oh, gosh. What? I'm a little too excited. I'm smiling so hard. I can't feel my cheeks. It's the reunion. You know? It's a fucking reunion. Welcome back to episode. What episode are we on? Another one. <laughs> Another one. But it's bitch, so that doesn't even matter right now. Cause mm-hmm. Kelly is in the fucking building. Hey. Cash me. Hey. Cash me hey. hey. back. <laughs> and it's not smiling. I'm making you blush, eh? It's been a guys, I said it for a bit. It's been a long time coming. Kelly's back in the building again. I love it. So let's see what we're going to get up. I love it. Una Janini. Have you missed me? Sana Sana. Yeah. You know, catching up on, <laughs> oh my gosh, for the interrupts to see. Oh no, was it like last week? Someone ran into us and they were like, you guys must be so much trouble when you're together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is a thing we get a lot. Yeah. Like, I'll be hitting up my friends and I'm just like, hey, I'm with Kelly. And they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's, it's one of those nights, huh? And I'm like, no, it's polite. <laughs> Seven in the morning. <laughs> But by the way, last week we were supposed to be we were supposed to be chill. We we're supposed to leave. We we did a whole yo. We were productive throughout the day, and then traffic told us we tell you pilots. You get a, a, a something. Oh yeah, we were fighting for our lives the next day. It's fine. Um, but we had a good time. But anyway, I've missed you so much. I miss you too, girl. Also, let me tell you, we've restrained ourselves from talking about <laughs> jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> because we're just like, we're did, uh, uh, mm. leave it for the podcast. Leave it for the podcast. Yeah. <clears throat> so much has been going on. So where do we start? Shit, Let's just so start much. with Sweet Bobby, please. Let's talk about Sweet Bobby. Huh? Sweet Jesus, Sweet Bobby. Girl. Girl. So I th- I'll look for a clip to mm-hmm. input here. So- when I tell you, this has got to be one of the craziest catfish stories I have ever seen, and I watched the show Catfish, okay? But Sweet Bobby has just taken the cake. This is an hour and a half long documentary about a woman named Kirat, and she was catfished by a guy named Bobby, who by the way does exist, and that is his real name. The details to this story are just insane. Not only was she catfished for almost a decade, but they started off as friends, grew into lovers, even got engaged without ever meeting one another. On top of her being catfished by Bobby, her family was also catfished by Bobby, and she was catfished by 60 other people that happened to be Bobby's family. If you're wondering how on earth could somebody be catfished for a decade without ever seeing this person, hardly ever speaking to them, Oh, he had a story for that. You see, these two live in the UK and the fake Bobby that was catfishing Kira tells her that he got shot in the UK because of a business deal and had to be taken to New York for witness protection, which is why she could never see him. And on top of that, she couldn't really speak to him either because while he was in the hospital in New York, he had a stroke and his vocal cords were damaged. And when I tell you this fake Bobby had a hold on Kirat, she was a radio DJ personality and ended up quitting her job because he got too jealous of the way she was speaking to callers. I know it feels like I'm spoiling the whole thing, but when I tell you this is only the half of it, your mind will be blown. And while this story is incredibly crazy, I hope people are being kind to her. I mean, the red flags were flagging. I don't know how she got got for that long, but you you have to watch to understand. All right. So sweet Bobby, Mm -hmm. firstly, immediately this babe said Kenya. (laughs) Scum of them there. You knew, you knew. I said, bitch, welcome to our day to day lives. Okay. But at the same time, <clears throat> breakdown. This little lady was uh, chitty chatting with someone on Facebook. True. Right? For one, not two, not three. Come on. Not four. Uh-huh. Aya. Four plus four? Eight. Aya. And then add two? Ten. Aya. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> but how do you talk to someone for that long without actually hearing their voice, not seeing them? Like 10 years, you know, okay, if you're <clears throat> online friends, I remember when we were still kind of active on yeah, Facebook. Yeah. I think the most we go is like a year without actually meeting the person. Yeah. So please, 10 years. My mom was telling me, I was with my mom yesterday, and my mom was telling me how, oh, she feels bad for her. I said, hold up. Nah. <laughs> in the age of Skype, in the age of WhatsApp call, mm -hmm. in the age of FaceTime. No way. In the age of, what else is there? Zoom. Everything. In the age of Teams, mm -mm. my friend. I can Google Meet. I can, there are many more to list, right? <laughs> yeah. Telegram, name mm -mm. them all. Mm -mm. And then in the age of all those, Video you're trying to tell me, you have never seen this individual face to face. All you're doing is chitty chatting with them oh. on fa and then you're still on Facebook. You don't even have this person's number. Yeah. Well and good. <clears throat> we can give a benefit of doubt. Okay. All right. Um, she's chitty chatted with a cousin. Mm -hmm. She's chitty chatted with the best mm -hmm. friend. Yada yada blah blah. His blah. other cousins. But she's never actually met this individual. This or blah. any of these other people that like he is introducing to her online. Yeah 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 online. On f hey hey hey. Me this story upset me because she's like oh I know you know I knew he was in love with me because he said. Girl. Say it. <laughs> Girl, we be saying any shit online, bro. Say no, it. he said he loved me, so like he meant it. And like, you know, he said he's coming on a fight because my grandmother died. I said, Girl, too much is going on right now. What? The fact that he told her he's at a hotel. <laughs> this little lady went to a yeah. hotel. Yeah. Stood at the lobby. Yeah. Asked for him to come down, and he said, I don't have the capacity to come yeah, down right give now. Me a few days. Kindly tell me where, where you did not see these red flags. Listen. Yes, she is a victim, but she's also a victim to her own accord. No, yeah, it is somewhat her fault because for that long... You can't tell me you fell in love with someone that you've never met. You've never <laughs> spoken to face to face, like FaceTime, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. But at the same time, the person I need, I, I need to give you know, props to and also just be like, you're a little bit psych psychotic. Simran. The cousin. Yeah, Simran. Simran. So what? Do you think she was in love with her? I'm a, what exactly is the MO? Because now, see, the whole story is Simran broke up with Bobby's brother. Yes. Right? Yes. So, Sasa, what does uh, Kirat Watashiwasta have to do with all of this? <laughs> because, bruh, innocent bystander, unfortunately, very gullible online. Now, we go on for, you must be in love with me. Why are you so obsessed with me? Honestly, to, all that time for eight plus years. Honestly, I couldn't figure it out. And even at the end, when they said how Simran is on, who's done it, blah blah blah, and she's refused to talk to Netflix um, about yeah. now, or rather to be in the documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah blah blah. Honey, sweetie, I was straight to Google <laughs> find out who the hell is this Simran Sisk because she has patience. Uh -huh. For eight years, she has managed over fifteen accounts. To make sure that this babe actually sticks to the lies or actually believes the lies. But how many accounts did she have to have opened? How many emails did she have to use? And how many computers was she using at one point to create that group chat? That right there is mm -mm. energy. Mm -mm. Like, but then patience. When, when she flipped the script onto Kirat and now became the obsessive boyfriend... Mm. That didn't make sense to me because, girl, you're on Skype. Yeah. But this girl can't leave. No, you know, sorry. <laughs> 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 to me, that was very stupid because what do you mean you're sending someone a video of you crying saying you're sorry because they said, oh, you went to the toilet? You're asking someone for permission to go. Go. At the same that. time, this is someone who has refused <laughs> to come and see you. Yeah. And after trying to come and see you several times, they have not been able to make it happen. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> If he wanted to, he would, Kira. I'm, honestly, <laughs> this is the real definition of if he really wanted no, to. He would. He would. Ladies, don't, do not be fooled yeah. by niggas who are out here yeah. telling you, Atia, let's just chat on the, on the mm. Facebook. Make sure that you see this individual. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can see individuals, you can meet individuals online, yeah. but make sure, you know, speaking of which. <laughs> Because <laughs> a man I've been talking to mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. I know he's real because I've been told he's real. <laughs> but <laughs> might, uh -huh. might be Simran telling me that he's real. Riswa. But he's Kenyan, but I've never bumped it. I have bumped into. 
It's giving sweet Bobby. It's giving sweet Bobby. No, but I believe he's real. You know, there's a mutual of ours that I told you I ran into. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at, at this car, walk it on weekend. Yeah. And I told you, like, we made eye contact, and this guy was like, what? Like, why are you looking at me? And I was like, Kwani, sweet Bobby, wepe ya mekufikia? Who has been in my DMs? Not ah! you? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Oops. Stop. Uh, no, but you know, it's also a tactic that Kenyan guys do from time to time. Yeah, yeah, the one that, oh, I don't know you. I don't oh, know you. Nah. Unless you approach me, then I'm going to say hi to you. What is up with the sassy nigga apocalypse this year? Tell us, Austin. Yeah, what is, what is what that? What is going on? What, what is, is that you? happening? The rate card went up. Hmm? The rate card went up. Uh-huh. The rate card went up? Yeah. So, Nani Aliwasho, who now made you realize your value? in the sassiness we don't need to be reminded of value we actually mm. understand so where did it come from all of a sudden because i mean last year we were chilling we were chilling this year we are the prize men are the prize of course uh, through and through been through and through through and through We've been toyota never mm. never never devaluating hey, nagasaki hiroshima not Sorry. the toyota have you heard <laughs> have you heard <laughs> Joe, what? We got her 64 bars. bars. <laughs> There's such a big reference here. <laughs> if you don't get it, wait. <laughs> you need to insert, insert, insert. But I'll give you the, I'll give you the snippet of the who. I'm even hot. <laughs> Listen, when 64 wait, wait, wait. bars plays. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Look, you can address me in the ringer. Bring a, bring a, oh, ring. no, that's not the bit. It's earlier. Let me check the lyrics. <laughs> Wait, it's in there. Oh. <laughs> This is, is it. To keep. How can I hand out? The floor is yours to sweep. These Nairobi streets are heartless. If you don't work, then you don't eat. We go hard, mm-hmm. we don't sleep. Hey, difference at Toyota Lexus. Only one of them is, is cheap. Except my wear any gani. Adi? Umeskiza? Sorry, sorry, what? One of them is what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No offense, <laughs> to be honest, kids. No offense. No. <laughs> but just like Groovy and <sighs> Fena said, but those 64 bars. Anyway, hey. speaking of 64 bars, <laughs> <clears throat> why is a oh, hi cutie? Why is a motherfucker <laughs> hanging out in my in my spot? Listen, you know, men have the audacity. Cause they even be bringing the ones that. Eh? I don't even care who the fuck he's bringing. Listen, I'm. I'm if it's chitty- your spot, it's your spot. It's my like. <laughs> so I'm chitty chatting with uh, a friend of mine who mm-hmm. knows him equally. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so she tells me, "Oh yeah, a friend of mine is dating one of his friends," and she mm-hmm. was like, "Well, I'm going to your spot, which we all know is you know around the yeah, corner, yeah, Lavington yeah, yeah. over there." Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "Oh okay," and she was just like, "Yeah, I figured that you guys were there together." I said, "Oh, that's over." <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Oh." oh what the hell happened? I'm like, yeah, yeah that's all right. I'm just like, but where the hell is he hanging out in my spot? That's my spot. Well, no, Johnini, it's to <laughs> hope to run into you, honestly. I'm, I'm very convinced. We're not as Delulu as Kara. Sorry. But we're not <laughs> Delulu as her. But, man, do you understand? These guys be trying to position themselves sometimes. Loki, I'm mad. But then Loki, I'm not mad as well. Because I'm just like, hey, I'll come through to my spot and see what the, what the fuck I've been up to, too. Like, me, Ashley, are you sure you want to go down that route? Listen, this is going to be a very messy podcast, but I love it. <laughs> uh, we're not ready to go down that path because it's a, when we start, okay, unfortunately, you see now, the way you influence me is, uh, we'll start being mean. <laughs> no, we're not being mean. We're not okay, being Kelly mean. will start being mean. <laughs> we're not being mean today. <laughs> no, no, but, not on the <clears throat> podcast. Like, you see, when seeing this person, like, in person, it's one of those things for saunadu. I mean, no, not necessarily, because I still kind of want things from ah, him. <laughs> I was waiting for you to get to the point. No, let me tell you. So I'm um, recently, very recently, quote unquote, sing- I wasn't even single. I was still single, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm back in the streets, <laughs> bitches, okay? Yeah. Back in the streets. Mm-hmm. Um, and the one thing I low-key miss about not being in the streets and being with yeah. <clears throat> yeah. specific individual. <laughs> 
is that I was being fed really well. Yeah. Like my feeding, my feeding habits were, were um, nice. Mm. Were very nice today. I, I was craving cake and I was just like, oh damn. Yeah. Before it would have been easy, as easy as baby, I feel I'm craving cake. You know, my period is about to come and sing dong. Cake Send. is at your door. But now that's not happening anymore. Come back. <laughs> no, do not come back, sir. If whoever you are. Hey, please, Excella. Come, come back. No, this one. Hey, <laughs> Voldemort, you shall not come back. But I've been getting some good. Oh, must be nice. Mm. <laughs> you been getting that good, good. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. must be nice. You know, balance. <laughs> when you have the friend who's receiving. We have, are you not receiving? Eh? Hmm. Reason? Reason being, okay, we literally just said this affair. Hey, off air. Anyway. Oh, yeah. You're too used to radio. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the fact that my choice in niggers has been quite alarming. <sighs> I mean, I've been saying this. <laughs> do, tell, do tell more. I feel like you came to a realization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, the kind of guys that I usually go for have a certain aura. We call them the nonchalance. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I have a thing for the nonchalance because Kelly is very chalant. She's very, very chalant. Very chalant. The chalant is chalant. The chalant, chalant. <laughs> Especially for people who actually do know me. Valid. All right? So for people who don't know me, they'll see me at first and be like, ooh, bad bitch, ass fat. That is correct. Very correct. But I I don't be having this kahul aura 24-7. Mm. So when they see the other side, they're like, hey, gotcha, any softy, that is propaganda. <laughs> That is propaganda. But then you see that it becomes, hey, now the chaser runner dynamic. Mm. And we ain't about that. Do you feel like your bubbly personality um, removes the men? Or it makes them less <laughs> interested? Because, I mean, I fuck with the bubbly personality. This of course. But how long did that here. take? It took some time. Yeah, of course. So most people are into the whole instant gratification thing. Mm-hmm. Most people just think, either one, Kelly's the airhead. <laughs> Just because I'm like, yeah, kawaii, 24-7. <laughs> or like when I start holding people accountable, people don't like me because now they've seen the super nice side. And then they're like, oh, wait, Kumbe, you can stand on business. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and most of the men that I've interacted with don't like that. They don't like me. Eh, family, I was go sit by <laughs> by a nigga after I told him, excuse me, eh, you had said this time the third and now uh, 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 is not happening. So, yeah, Hebu, explain to me like I'm Karenyamu. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy said, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out. And I'm like, okay, you know what? It's, it's, it's vibe. Mm, so the issue is that you come in with a very, very bubbly um, yeah, personality. Yeah, very intense. Um, it's, it gets intense. Mm-hmm. And then later on, you actually show them that, yo, you can't be playing on some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you have to be straight up with me mm-hmm. or there's nothing else happening here. So... This, this comes, this is where my question comes in. <laughs> do you think it's really a bad thing or do you think you're filtering the good from the bad? In what sense? Like, do you think it's a filter for you, which is not a bad thing? Like, the ones who should stay will stay. The ones who don't need to be staying got to get the fuck out. But, you know, it's, yeah, yes, I do filter them out. But you see now, it, it becomes one of those things where I'm hard on the people who communicate. Okay, Kelly, I want you to be. This and the third. Like, if you come to me and be like, Kelly, I'm trying to fuck. Cool. It's either yes or no. Or maybe uh, later I'll hold you. What do you want? Me? Right now? (laughs) 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 What the (laughs) (laughs) Clearly, I don't know. Maybe Austin wants to speak for me. Do you know what I want, Daddy? Um, Daddy. Have you tried communicating to your own self what you want? Yeah. What, Wait, what, is, what is it that you want, you as Kelly? Wait, why am I telling the whole world? See you on Oh, okay, that's fine. That's very fine. <laughs> but like, yeah. But you're you not know. getting what you want from this individual. No, yeah, but it's also because I've also really applied pressure to the niggas who really don't be deserving nothing. Hello, you know this. <laughs> you know th- You should also know this. You I already know. know this, honey. <laughs> like, they yeah. don't know this. <laughs> oh, no, Austin. Austin does, but the rest oh, the, of the world. The, this one's. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you will find out now. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it's just after filtering out right now, it's just... <sighs> Are you worth the not? Like, I don't want to get into a situation where, like, we fucked and then now I'm just like... We talked about this. Austin has mm. a story. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't <laughs> have a story. <laughs> yeah, because so if you're not you. worth the not for me right now, I'm just like... Because eh. I go into a situation... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Do tell. Uh-huh. There's a certain individual that Ashley doesn't like, who I somewhat, he was a pass, passerby uh-huh. in my life. <laughs> Go on. But, you know, <laughs> before you actually start getting involved with someone, there are all these child and errors. So one of those two, we call them a what? A one night stand. Yeah. Hakubamba. Hakubamba, and I really questioned my decisions. But then after a while, like... He wasn't a one night stand. <laughs> and then. Never turn your one night stand. Listen, give me that camera before she goes on. <laughs> Never turn your one night stand into something longer or bigger or formulate something deeper than yeah, it should yeah, be. Yeah. A one night stand is a one night stand. Proceed. Yeah, so you see now Kelly's flow is what I fall in love with almost everyone. <laughs> it's Golden true. Retriever for real. Yeah, it is. But like, yeah, so because of that. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, that past situation kind of was like, yeah, Kelly caught feelings, but other party did not. But so you know, you're there trying to differentiate. Um, is this stigmatization or do I actually love this person? I came to decide that I decided that I loved this person. The dick was just really good. Stigmatization. <laughs> but yeah, now that situation ended. So, <sighs> what have you learned? I've learned that I am on the, <laughs> in this life, know who is who, all right? So everyone is not in your life forever, especially these. <laughs> and niggas stay saying a lot of shit, bro. Don't, don't believe everything niggas say. I don't believe it. <laughs> I think, and then now this year, because we're in the era of the sassy nigga, <clears throat> honestly, don't overexert yourself, because I've been one of those people. I'm I'm such a giver when I like people. Yeah. So uh, this year I said, hey, imagine if you're not talking to me. There's no need. There's no need. And I won't even fuss about it. I won't argue with it about it. I'll be like, you know what? See, you made your decision. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean, Mendele and Azangu. Some niggas sent some of his friends to come and, like, watch me at some bash I was at. And I was like, what was that for? So you, so you stopped talking to me. So what is this? Stick with your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amma? I'm a, I'm a, is that too harsh? Me? Uh, <laughs> I, I can't be asked. Like, I really can't be asked. I right mean, now. I mean, that's very much allowed and mm-hmm. um, brings me to a conversation mm-hmm. of whether you should stay or sh- you should go, <clears throat> or whether you should let them stay or you should let them go. Um, let me not throw you under the bus. <laughs> so, we're having a conversation with a very close friend of mine mm-hmm. um, before we started filming the mics. Mm-hmm. And um, this specific individual, was telling me how he hit up a babe, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. To come get the stick with. Um, and immediately he hang up, he regretted the, 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 call. the call. And I said, why didn't you just call her back and be like, hey, um, I, have errands, I have an errand to run. Let's, let's reschedule. Yeah, He's just like, eh? what's the saying? Whatever, in the middle of the yeah, fucking yeah. night. Mm-hmm. I'm like, sweetie, they don't need to fucking know. Come up with an excuse that you got to you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is not mm-hmm. happening anymore. Mm-hmm. Which came to the realization that I'm very toxic. I have a very toxic trait, <laughs> which is canceling on niggas when they're halfway to my house. <laughs> Rarely happens. Hit me <laughs> up, babes. Um, but also made me wonder, like, mm-hmm. what's an excuse that you will give or the best excuse you've given to get yourself out of a hookup? Even if you're like on the, they're on their way, if you're on your way, um, or if they're already there, and you're just like, we can't do this, like we can't do this, but in a nice way, where if you call them again, they'll be like, yeah, but I'm on my way. I don't know. I'll just tell you, I got work. I've I've used work as an excuse before. Now what I if know it's like I... midnight? <laughs> work. <laughs> what, what if there's no work involved? Um, uh, if it's not. <laughs> Um, uh, shit, I gotta go. You, <laughs> Ashley, Ashley got an emergency. Shit, I gotta go over. Oh, I gotta go over. I, I'm gonna talk to you later. I right? and you can't question me about. What are you asking me? This was this was a nut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. First of all, as a nut, why are you that entitled to even ask me about what the fuck is going on in my life? See, you just come and get your nut and you go, Emma. See, this is what I was saying, right? Because a specific individual. Was, <laughs> was, was saying how, oh, 
oh, but what am I, what am I telling her I'm going to do? What, what excuse am I making in the middle of the night? I'm like, tell her you have an errand to run. He's like, it's in the middle of the night. I'm like, she does... She doesn't need to yeah, be asking you. don't owe you her that much. What fucking errand you're going to run? You niggas are in dating. Listen, hello? Do you see what we're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do you, you don't <laughs> owe nobody none of that information. Hello? Austin, what are your thoughts? No, do you know that's, a, that's an actual trauma response? Like, yeah. over explaining, I was spoken... I was spoken... Anyway. So... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to expose myself. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been told about the fact that over explaining yourself and constantly needing to tell, like, oh, if you ask, hey, can you do this? And you say no, and I ask you why. The most immediate response is, okay, no, it's because I have to do this, and if I do this, da da da. Because when you were a child, if you did not defend yourself <laughs> immediately mm-hmm. and have like a full on answer, or whatever the fuck was going to happen to you. So, yeah, and you've just cultivated, it doesn't matter who you're interacting with. Eh, well, if I don't tell them I can come through, I have I mean, to shit. know. Yeah, I have to know what I'm going to say in order for them to be appeased enough to choose me again. But then are you still going to go and do that work? I am a Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, welcome to Kashli's therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Mm? Yeah, tell us your thoughts. <clears throat> Thoughts on what? The, the excuse that I'll use? Yeah, or... the excuse that you, you'd use. Do you think my excuse, Kelly's excuse, is sufficient? No. I, mm, damn. But I, <laughs> I, I validate Kelly, whatever Kelly has said about um, over-explaining yourself. Mm, mm. Uh, what I, I really don't get is mm. how, how you get to break it down to this person that, yo, I don't want to be with you at this particular time, could you kindly uh, find me some other time? Probably my social battery is low. I, I, at that particular point in time, I wanted you, but I now, nah, I, I don't feel like I want you anymore. But going back to the excuse, uh, the excuse that I've used most of the time is uh, my son. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Works like a charm. You can't ask questions <laughs> about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I realize that um, that's just also another tra- uh, trauma response. Of course. Where you use an act, mm. you, you make up a story about yes. um, something that's... Well, okay, and I understand what you're saying. You should be comfortable enough to just be like, I personally am not comfortable with your presence right now. Exactly. Um, can we do this at another mm-hmm. point of time? Mm-hmm. Which is something that I think we need to learn and unlearn. But at the same time, I don't really need to explain myself to you. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need to, expl- I need, I don't need to explain that um, I'm not in the best mental state. Actually, on... Um, Sharon's and Jules's podcast, yeah. they host a douchey. Mm-hmm. She's called douchey. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't remember her name. It. Yeah. But she was, okay, for her, she was simply saying how if she's invited for plans, she'll say no, because I don't want to. She doesn't have to explain it to you. Because, wh- okay, why do I have to start breaking down my mental mm. Mm. capacity at the moment? Mm. Or if my social battery is low, nah, if I don't feel like it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come. Simple. And I don't owe you, I don't remember if that's exactly what she says, but for me, what I'm saying is, I don't owe you a breakdown of my entire life mm-hmm. for me to be like, I'm not seeing you today. Mm-hmm. I'll simply tell you, I don't have the, cap- even saying I don't have the capacity. Or just saying, no, not today, let's yeah. do it another time. Yeah, let's simple check. Yeah, just let's say let's check. check. Period. Stop. Yeah. If they ask for an explanation, then maybe you can be like, I just don't want, I just don't really feel like it. But anyway, listen, if I don't want to come right now, <laughs> uh, if I don't want to come for you, <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to yeah, do it. Even honestly. if you come, well, good for you if you <laughs> good did. Good for you, <laughs> but, <laughs> but not me. So I'm not about to give you a, yeah, a breakdown of my whole entire life because I want to come. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope the person <laughs> that, um, we had this conversation with yeah. early on in the afternoon. <laughs> has uh, seen some clarity. <laughs> has, of... has found light yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in this I very see. dark tunnel. <laughs> no, but it's bad. <laughs> Have you ever been in one of those situations where... <laughs> All right. You know niggas stay nigging in this Nairobi. Niggas be uh, niggering. All right, so cool. You guys have a little fun there and there. Ah, ah, ah. Boom, bada, boop, ba, da, da. <laughs> Then come to find out. You know the hey girl. As a woman. As coming to, <laughs> coming to you as a woman. But 
it's one of those situations where like let's say it's Austin and I who have hooked up, right? And that's your thing. That's your man. You get me? All right? Don't touch my man. Now, I ain't going to touch your man, but it's one of those ones where now I've hooked up with him, but because you're not sure, you become buddy-buddy with me. Mm. When I tell you, oh, my God, Kelly. Oh, my God, Kelly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everywhere. Every two seconds. And then, <laughs> you know how women are. I think this is very, in- it's a very interesting thing that we do. We ask around the question without asking the question to see if someone is going to say the truth. Yep. So now, Shorty comes, now I, you come to me and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, Kelly, I only trust you and Austin because, you know, Austin, and yeah, I mean, Austin can get me home or you can get me home. And I'm like, Shorty, okay. Where, where are you going with this? What is happening? But you start putting two and two together. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, I start seeing on his profile he has a certain emoji, let's say the blue love heart. And so do you. It's like a inside joke. This is why she's called Agent Q, guys. Go on. <laughs> you start seeing those two things. Eh, similarities. You know that thing where obviously you're never going to be in each other's comments. But small, small acknowledgements with your language. Aha. Uh-huh. So what do you do in this instance? Because for me and my house, we, me, I'm dipping, please. I was not involved. There were no loyalties, unfortunately, to the babe. No. And uh, you know what? I did not know. After I started putting two and two together. Is when you figured it out. Yeah, yeah, and we are out. But why are you dipping? Because now, why am I? Hey, no, me, I got my karma back in the day. <laughs> and I said, never again. <laughs> hey, hey, I was. Mm, mm, mm. Why, why did the nigga get his karma, though? Has he gotten his <laughs> or in, in a build? One <laughs> HM It's a big part of karma. Listen. Listen. <clears throat> For me, her <laughs> tricks. Tricks. Look, yeah, there is the woman and then the woman. Yeah, yeah. Or the, the other woman. The other woman, right? The, the, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was about to say the mystery. <laughs> I was going to say it as well, but I was like, no, nah, we're not using that term. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. We'll come back to the mistress. Don't worry. We got you. Um, <laughs> so then there's another the woman. This is my thing. And listen, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I don't play this position. <laughs> I don't play this position, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But then the instances where you're not told that there is the woman, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> of course, at some point, if you are the actual woman, mm-hmm. then there's going to be the other woman yeah. who now plays that part where Kelly was talking about now being very friendly, mm-hmm. being all kiki with the man, mm-hmm. blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. Sometimes they're just friends, okay? Let's make that very clear. Sometimes mm-hmm. they're actually generally just yeah. friends, yeah, yeah. but they're willing to overstep in certain um, spaces. Yeah. But see... <clears throat> I wouldn't step. Mm-hmm. You know why? Why? I'm not the one who's fucking up. Listen, unless I'm told this is this X Y Z is happening, X Y Z is happening. Unless this is made very clear to me mm-hmm. that yes, there is actually another woman, mm-hmm. or you are the other woman, mm-hmm. then I'm not stepping. After that is when I'll make my decision. You're oblivious. Listen, it's none of your business, sweetie. I'm blind. <laughs> yeah? I'm blind. I Even can't. if you have the hints, because it's nothing. his responsibility to tell you this shit anyway, right? I mean, <clears throat> Maybe, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. It's his fucking responsibility to tell. You might find out some shit. You always find out you some shit. You will always find out you some shit. You will always find out some shit, but it's also his responsibility. Make him as uncomfortable as fucking possible. But you know that's the thing about niggas. BBFFs even. Like, make him fucking uncomfortable. Yeah, take pictures, go out on dates, you know. Quake in your boots, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well eat her too. <laughs> I remember running into... Okay. Uh, would I... Mm. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So I ran into... <laughs> I considered saying... Anyway. So I ran into an ex and his ex. Not his ex, his current. Mm-hmm. And I know he panicked when he saw us interacting because I was like, what? what? Relax, sweetie. Hey, Relax. To your kuni mom say. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck about you. Nobody be talking about you like Bye. that. But like, 
Hey, Nairobi is small, so like when you run into each other outside and then you can see Mandem visibly panicking, you're just like, it is your duty. Why do Mandem freak out when they see their exes with their flings or currents? Because we still have a, ch- uh, think we still have a chance with you guys. See, maybe you still do. <laughs> so why are you freaking out? Well, if you're to do you think we don't know this thing. Eh? No, but at oh. the same time, it's very messy, for sure. No, um, but, uh, talking about messy, please, mm, please. Talk, talk about messy. Mm. Austin, <laughs> you. Who cares about Mimi? Who cares about Mimi? How long? Do you ever talk about like your former flings, your former relationships? Like, is that a thing? How long does it take for you to heal and actually stop putting your persons? Yeah. Uh, hmm? It depends on the the kind of relationship that I had with the person. No, if we were just fucking. If we are just fucking, mm. uh, two working days. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not two working and days. If, you are, if you're in the in the mm, in the position, no, in the main in there in the, hey, you're in the main position. You're dating this person, but like it never gets to exclusivity. Iyo sasa utonge asit kutoka saat zone October hadi December ama. Again, you you're probably asking the wrong person because I'm a lover. I'm a lover boy. Aww. No, which, I'm a lover girl too, baby. Let's go. Because I'll, 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 I'll probably never trash talk you. That's I'll, good. I'll, That's I'll just, good. I'll just, I'll just let go. But will you ever mention this person? Like, would you ever acknowledge that? Hey, uh, Kelly and I were involved with each other. If it, but if, it, if, it come, if it comes up in the, in a conversation and uh, but you, it won't, it won't come from you. It will never come. Mm-hmm. From you. It will never. Come. I've, oh, yeah. I've seen how it can work to your benefit, though. But, okay, it can work to your benefit and it can work to your disadvantage as well. Is that the, whatever, you know what I'm yeah, trying yeah. to say. Um, case in point, um, my ex came up in a conversation with someone that I'm currently seeing. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh, you mean this person? They're like, yeah. And I said, huh, that's my ex. And he said, oh, shit, it's a good thing I haven't mentioned that this is going on because you know, it will be an interesting yeah. situation. Mm-hmm. So that's a great, it's a good thing that I meant, that you that mentioned was mentioned it. and I mentioned it, mm-hmm. right? It wasn't a negative light um, or anything. Also for flings as well, I have mentioned to other flings that, oh yeah. I've been involved. I with was it. seeing so your it's homie. So important to tell your flings. So this is the thing, for men specifically, how I look at it mm. is almost like checking a box. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, 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 we've been there, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, for, for women, I don't know if it's the same thing. Okay, for me, sometimes for me it is, <laughs> just so that I can have that counter up. Yeah. But anyway, um, f- I, d- I don't know. Sometimes it can be in malice, or it can be almost like just checking a box and telling your homies that, yeah, nilukulei like you too. You get what I mean? Which is where I don't support it. Oh, you don't support like the oh. that whole malicious thing of achieving <laughs> got a Buddha. Oh, okay. You're like, yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah hit yeah. that, blah, blah. Well, I do it as <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mine is different. It's more just like, you see that nigga? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. Me, the major thing is that it's not even I mean you can be with people, yeah. And the fling, you can fling and fling. But my, I don't even have an issue with it because if it's sex, it's just sex. As long as you're safe, you're safe. My business is my business. But I've seen, when it comes to man, ego is involved. Yeah. All right? Hell no. Byron na Austin. Whom are you to tell me anything? Okay, like I might mention it, I might not, because you and Byron are type close. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, <clears throat> like, you know, if we're just fucking, we're just fucking, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, what if Byron was a one time thing? You're my constant. It's not evil. It's not because evil. Niggas be doing the exact same thing. It's niggas just that be, I brought it up. Niggas be doing worse. Yeah. Niggas be do, ch- do I say this? <laughs> I was in a situation. <laughs> 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 was. This was a long, long time ago in Babylon. <laughs> <laughs> the year of yonder. Long, long, long time ago. I was in a situation um, where I was seeing this guy, and the best friend had been hitting on me for a very, very long time. Yeah. 
So I was easy with it because I was just like, ah, eh, this is best friend. He's not mm-hmm. going to try anything, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. So when we stopped, the best friend now started hitting me up yeah. more and more and more, mm-hmm. right? So I'm like, ah, eh, small, small banter is mm-hmm. not going to hurt anybody. Mm-hmm. I won't lie. I I, yeah. I kind of, I fell into that little trap. Mm-hmm. Tra- it was not even a trap. It, it just fucking happened. Yeah. And it was great. Like, it was fucking amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> So now um, we will be in spaces together mm-hmm. and the best friend is there and he's there, but we can't act like we've been together. Yeah, of course. Because of the best friend. The best friend doesn't know that we've been together, right? Kept it very hush hush, mm. right? Mm-hmm. He doesn't need to know that we've of been together. He doesn't. He doesn't. Hush hush, sweetie. But now um, he knows, but he will, he will low key catch a feeling when he sees me like talking to the best friend a little bit more. Yeah. Because it's just like, now we can't do that in public, mm. but you can do that with him because that's where I got you from. Nairobi. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a messy situation, <laughs> but yeah, if you me. have <laughs> communicated with individuals, so see, type messy shit. So don't say women are evil. It wasn't because of me. I wasn't his best yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was it's I really his best responsibility. Friend? It's really not, you I'm know. I'm a third party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whom star we to get involved? See, bros before hoes. A- Whom star I to refuse <laughs> a good time? No, see, no, that's also the thing. Bros before hoes. Bros before hoes. So I mean, they- clearly I was not a hoe. <laughs> Hey man, if two plus two is four, <laughs> four plus four is eight. So hey, hey man. <laughs> I'm not so period. <laughs> period. You don't gotta go no further. Period. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're really toxic. Ooh, anyway, <laughs> we can. <laughs> What Kelly just said. Oh, anyway, <laughs> this has been fun. I want you back um, very, very soon. Um, this has been Cashly. Cashly! <laughs> on double sided tape. Hey, Cashly. 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 That's the thing. Anyway, bye, bitches. See you next week.